Welcome to Take 5, your 5-minute five inspiration message from Solid Rock Drogada. In the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 18 to 21 says, For as I have often told you before and now tell you again, even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach and their glory is in their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven. And we hardly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. The people of Philippi, a Greek city, lived under Roman laws and occupation. They were in Greece, but they lived as Roman citizens, and the city looked like a Roman city. So Paul reminds them that the citizenship that we have is in heaven, not here. When we understand this truth, you know, and start living as aliens here, as people you know, who do not belong to this world, then we will make a huge difference around us. Paul says that as a Christian, our citizenship is in heaven, not here, and that we are called to be different. We should hear people, you know, around us saying, I can tell by the way you work and talk, by the way you behave, that there is something different about you. And this leads us to ask ourselves certain questions. What is the objective of my life? What is the thing that makes me move and which animates me? Is it my appearance? Is it my bank account? Is it passion and pleasure? The Bible warns us that if we live to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 25, they will eventually devour and crush us. Instead, we must live in expectation of future glory. We will be transformed. We will have new bodies like his glorious body. Our heavenly bodies will not be weakened by sin selfish desires or degeneration. We will be home one day and it will be wonderful. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when people, by looking at our lives, see the reflection of Christ, they will understand that we serve a living God and will ask you, you know, to give them the reason for the hope that is in you. First Peter chapter 3, 15. So, let us learn to live in accordance with our identity. Let the wonder of our heavenly citizenship make us sensitive and compassionate as we work among those who are enemies of the work of the cross. Philippians chapter 3, 18. How King the Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. And when he comes, the whole world will realize that our citizenship has never been of this world and that our God is alive and well. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for listening to this inspiration message and please connect with us daily for our Take 5. Be blessed in our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.